So over near where I was getting some film of the rabbit tracks and the weasel tracks, I saw out on the river, which is I was right near it, a, a hole in the ice, a little access point. And I thought, oh, that, I bet that's a good place for the otters to get in and out. But it was very snow blown, and I didn't get any footage. <laughs> Turns out, it was right here, there's an otter trail, coming right from where I saw that hole, which is close enough to see, but it's just on the other side of the, the lip of the side of the river, so I can't actually see it from here. But they had gone right through and slid. So all this is sliding. You can see where they put their feet down, where there's like deeper holes, and then that's their body. Can, oh, right there, if I can get in really close. That's really cool right there. I don't know well how well you can hear me out here because of a breeze, but I, follow, I decided to follow the otter trail, and I didn't go very far. I found this. I, it's a kill site of some sort or predation site. I um, I messed it up before I turned the camera on, <laughs> dug into it a little bit, but it came with there was a bunch of feathers that laying around in the area, kind of blowing around. There's one there. There's some in this blood and bits of, I don't know what, pardon my shadow, bloody feather and maybe some guts, some more feathers. So something got a bird out here. I don't think it's necessarily connected to the otter trail. Just having the otter trail led me to it. So I'm gonna keep following it and go along the edge here. I'm gonna stay off the real ice though. I'm sure it's very thick, but I'm alone. And I don't wanna chance it. So look at this. Unless those turn out to be human tracks. It looks like the otter climbed up on top of that is a beaver lodge. I, I know the area, so I know what that is under the snow there. So we're going to walk over there and see what all that activity is about. So I'm on top of the beaver lodge. There's all these tracks around here and holes and stuff. To me, that looks smallish for an otter, but I bet they could fit in that. One of my tracking mentors told me he saw an otter getting a crack so thin that he didn't, he watched it go in and didn't think it was possible. So maybe that's plenty big. I could fit my fist in it. And it looks like they were coming to and from another hole in the ice over there. They might live or have access to the water from, from here, from the beer lodge and over there. They might also have like a den and part of the beaver lodge, which isn't unheard of. Very cool. You can see all the hoar frost building up around the hole here from the, the warmer air, more moist air coming up from the beaver lodge, both from the animal's breath, if they're in there, and just the, the water. They probably are in there because I see some... Well, actually, I'm not sure. I can't see if there uh, is any obvious sign because of the snow that it's been newly worked on. But I, it wouldn't surprise me if they're in there. Here's some pictures from my camera trap that I took at a different location in the past uh, of some otters. This photograph just a single otter, and the next one there's three uh, using a haul-out spot. It's a place where Otter routinely leave and enter the water and they roll around and uh, scat and scent mark. This one's next to a beaver lodge made along the bank. Um, there might be another connection to the 
all the holes in the snow around the beaver lodge, sometimes otters will either take over or share them with the beaver for, as a den, a place to sleep. So that could be going on there. If you like this video or you're into tracking, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also check out um, my blog at Primitive Skills Practitioner. It's a WordPress blog. It has tons of tracking pictures along with other primitive skills. And um, maybe take a class with me at Three Red Trees School of Natural Living here in Connecticut. Uh, we offer a lot of introductory level tracking walks and classes. Some of them are free. Um, and we have some more intensive naturalist training. So come take a look at the website, our Facebook page, and uh, sign up for our newsletter. Thank you.